Everyone in the audience, are you guys ready? All right. No, we're 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 waiting for a reason here. So what they're trying to do is let the the demo loop play through here because what this does is it actually fixes the RNG at the bosses. So uh, all the bosses have a little bit of RNG, and. Um, we found out relatively recently that if you let this demo loop play and then start your game, uh, it actually sets the RNG for all the bosses to a known, a known pattern. Now, the pattern that they get on the bosses that matter is not necessarily the optimal one, but um, being consistent makes it much better than trying to just deal with you know, some unknown quantity. Absolutely true. So uh, let's just do a couple intros, and then I think we're ready to go. So uh, I'm Sinister One. I'm General Andrews. And I'm Fiesel on the couch. Thus, Postman. And cool. we have Angry Langs right Lanks here. with us as well. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah. So are we ready? You guys want to count? All right. Okay. You ready? Count us down. Three, two, one, go. Woohoo! All right. In this first stage here, right away, you see Dale carrying Chip. Um, the reason for this is when one person's carrying the other, it reduces a lot of lag. Uh, when you add a second player to this game, everything just gets laggier and laggier, and you know that's not good for time. But there's other advantages to the carry, being that you can throw your partner up to higher ledges, things like that, uh, which we're about to see in a moment here. As you see Zipper here, you know he's basically like your star in Mario Brothers. He's going to go around and take care of enemies, and uh, some death abuse coming up here. That's right. I just took a death. That was intentional. You can see I come out in this balloon form. Uh, by the way, we forgot to mention, uh, I will be playing as Dale and General Andrews' as Chip. That's right. That's right. The hat wearing chipmunk. There you go. Yeah, and the important thing here is that whoever one, only one person needs to get to the door. So usually one player will uh, do the speedrun stuff, and the person in the back will do support, killing enemies, throwing them around as needed. It only matters who, who gets to the door first. All right, here we see a boss. All these bosses are basically the same idea. There's a red ball. You have to hit the boss five times with it. That's it. Boss down. You need one. You could there you go. There you go. Woo. These bonus areas, you can pick up flowers, uh, stars, and one-ups. There will always be a guaranteed one-up in the top center, but the flowers and stars are important too. It takes 50 flowers to give you a one-up, and it takes 10 stars to give you a one-up, and they will need all the one-ups they can get because they're going to be doing death abuses all over the place. Um, you'll also notice they start with uh, three hearts worth of health, and they're going to use all of those hearts up. But right here in particular, what they're trying to do is both die uh, staggered at just the right spacing so that one person dies as the other person comes back in balloon form. And now they're double ballooning through these faucets, which would normally be a lot of slowdown to get those faucets going. Yeah, good job, guys. That was a great balloon. Good ballooning. It's, it's harder than it looks, really. You'll also see them take some hits on purpose for the damage boosts here and there during the run. Um, it's really important, though, that they have the right amount of life and lives for the rest of the run. So the flowers, the deaths you take, all that stuff kind of really adds up all right, for the nice. perfect run. Yeah, that off-screen hit there is a little tricky. Oh. Ah. Having to improvise a little bit here. There so this, we go. We got this him. is one of the bosses <laughs> where... Uh, fixing the RNG actually makes a difference. This is one of the most random bosses in this game. Um, the pattern that they were going for can be, uh, the guy can be killed in two cycles, but um, when you miss a shot, it's really hard to recover because the next cycle after that is the high cycle, which is just really hard to get hits in on that. Uh, here we're going to see some pretty tricky damage boosts, some off-screen jumps into a damage boosts. This whole section is just full of damage boosts. And tricky jumps. And Very tricky jumps. Nice. Very nice. Woo! Woo! Yeah, you can clap for that. It was good stuff. Woo! Yeah, that's a tough screen. That's a hard guys. screen. <laughs> Very hard screen. All right, one person's going to hang back here and do the the box throwing to trigger these switches. And the trick is to have Dale or Chip get through without stopping. Perfect. Tricky damage boost off that that jester. Or Jack in the Box, rather. And some more throwing to cut corners. All right, this boss does have some RNG, but they know what the cycle is... 
It's all right. It's all good. They'll okay, get the life have, back. Have they, they have some lives. extra lives. Um, the cycle, they know what the cycle is going to be, and so this is a really cool kill here. We're going to do three horizontal shots, and then a vertical shot that double hits. Nice. Perfect. Very good. That was the perfect fight there. Excellent. The number of flowers, stars, and one-ups they collect is very scripted because they need the one-ups to appear in exactly the right spot. Oh, that's cool. Uh, that backwards damage boost by pushing your partner into the into the cannonball is very cool. Um, now you see Chip is hanging back because the one-ups appear from the left side of the screen. So right there we just got one and another one from the flowers. And uh, Chip collected both of those. I'm just going to let them do their thing here. This is a hard section. All right, he got it. That's a that's nice. a really hard move. Very nice. Yeah, so that screen there, it's dependent on so many factors. All these moving platforms are triggered by the screen position, and then you have to time the, the deaths just right so that balloon manages to make its way up to the top uh, in, in an optimal fashion. Uh, this is a good level for donations. Not much going on in this level. All right, we have... Uh, Ten dollars from Rui Duell. Uh, sorry, Rui Duell says, "Awesome cause. Keep going strong. You're the real rescue rangers." <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah! And we've got Blake fifty three sending in five dollars. Says, "Sinister, you gotta tighten it up." <laughs> <laughs> That's very true right now, actually. <laughs> uh, Netarchy sends in $75 and says, had to tune in to support my fave retro runner, General Andrews, playing for a great cause. Best of luck on your runs. Don't forget to flex those guns. <laughs> uh, thank you. Incentive goes to announcer's choice. Oh. We got time for another. All right. Cosmo Dings sends in $10 and says, had to donate during Chippendale Rescue Rangers. <laughs> So many childhood memories. Your one up? Yes. It's okay. Here, take these. <laughs> Aw. They're in love. <laughs> All right, three more levels left in this game. This first one that they're going to do in the, the, the second world here is just probably one of the trickiest sections. We're going to have serious time during the climb on this level. good jumps. All right. So Sinister let his partner know that they actually the balloon was in the right spot. Um, the problem with the ballooning is that if you don't drop out of it manually, it'll auto dump you out of it uh, after a certain amount of time and that can drop you off in a pit. So if they're concerned that they didn't balloon in the right spot, they have to actually uh, oh. go out of it early. Oh. oh, he didn't get it. Oh my god. Hope the other one gets it. Okay. Yes, there we okay, go. Good, good. At least one of them got it. So now they can compensate by having the other person pick the one up out of the, the box there. So they're all good. Okay, I love okay. when they hide in the box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this section has fans in it, and the fans uh, will push you back very slow, so they're going to try to balloon, to double balloon through this. Get to come out early. All right, and the, the timing wasn't optimal there, so they're going to have to come out early. They can't just go all the way through to the end. Ah. Oop, looks like... Oh, just a little short. Get okay. it in there, get it in there. <laughs> there <we go. laughs> oh. All right, this section's not too bad. They're going to have invincibility through half of it. Uh, but the boss, on the other hand, um, every, if you hit the boss at all, once the boss walks to the center, it'll discombobulate and come back together. So they're, what they're going to do is let the boss walk past the halfway point before delivering the first hit. That way they can get three hits in... There's one, two, three. And then kill him on the I second check, cycle. Check. That was a really nice good... Boss. Yeah, boss. clap for that one. Okay. Good boss fight there. They're going to check lives here. All right. Uh, Area J is the... Or Zone J is the 
toughest level in the game. This part's not so bad, but this second section, it's got direction changes, it's got uh, required damage boosts in the speed run, and they're going to do something really precise to try to cut a corner and then double balloon through the top section of this. So I'm going to just let them do their thing. Nice. All right, there we go. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Back on there. track. Yeah. Woo! Back on track there. Got a little hairy, but now they can double balloon through this axe section and through part of this conveyor section. And we're almost at Fat Cat. Now, Fat Cat, if you were not manipulating the RNG, um, it would be kind of random whether his cigar points in such a way that the ash hits you or doesn't. But they know exactly what his pattern is going to be. So this is a, a one, two, three, four, five fight. Time. Time. There's that flex. <laughs> What's the time on that? 9.51, that's really good. Nice, yeah. got it. 9.51, yeah. Right. There we go. Woo. All right, so that's, uh, that's Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Doo -doo -doo. Nice, that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> All right, well done, Sinister One and General Andrews. Carrot Peeler sends in $10 and says, you guys are great. Thanks for keeping me company during a late night shift. Triple A to Z says, uh, sends in $50 and says, let's go General Andrews. He's one of the most positive and inspiring people on Twitch that I know. Have a great run with Sinister One and DOS Postman. Love from Triple A to Z. Anjuhime-chan uh, sends in $15 and says, There's not a more fitting time to donate for a Kingdom Hearts run than a Chip and Dale game. Greetings from Germany. Keep having fun for a great cause. Muso for Hire uh, says, uh, sorry, sorry, donates $18.25. And the comment reads, giving the equivalent, uh, the equivalent of 365 divided by 2 for the Kingdom Hearts 3 run. Half goes to the Dark Inferno fart, uh, fight, half goes to singing Agony from Into the Woods. Maybe it's not a Disney song in the traditional sense, but it's from my favorite composer, Stephen Sondheim, so I have to vote for it. Greetings from Sydney. Sporadic Erratic sends in $50 and says, Donating directly from the back couch for the game that kicked my butt when I was a kid. It's great seeing you runners tear it up for such a great cause. So we've got some incentives for you guys. Uh, the next one on the list is Cave Story to go and find Chaco's lipstick, currently sitting at a total of $6,495.42 out of $7,500. And if met, the runners will hunt down and find the optional item, Chaco's lipstick, and return it to her during the Cave Story run. So if you want to see that happen, go ahead and get your donations in. And of course, Kingdom Hearts 3 also has a, uh, an incentive open to uh, level 1 critical mode Dark Inferno.
That is currently sitting at $10,491.12 out of $33,333.33. Auraman96 donates $50 and the comment reads, Sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these two gumshoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. When you need help, just call Sinister One and General Andrews Rescue Rangers. Thank you for that great speed run. Bad Boy 2001 donates $30 and says, Here's a donation to a great, saw, uh, great cause and a gr uh, good luck to General Andrews during his runs. And don't forget to flex! Donation incentive goes to Runner's Choice. <laughs> 